Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching. In this video, we're going to talk business continuity management. There's going to be several videos on this topic. In this video, I want to introduce business continuity management and go through the workspace. Yes, there's a dedicated workspace for BCM within ServiceNow. Now, what is it? Here's the thing. If you're running a business, not everything is going to go perfectly. Stuff's going to happen. Stuff's going to go wrong. Power outages, system outages, global pandemics, flood, fire, you know, water damage, all kinds of stuff could go wrong. Business continuity management is about assessing the impact to the business on what might happen if something goes wrong, defining how soon and how long it takes or how long and at what point are you going to be said to be recovered. And then how are we going to manage that? How are we going to manage the tasks and what it takes to do and respond to an incident, to something, to a crisis event that goes on. So what I have behind me here is the business continuity management workspace. Depending on your role, this may be laid out a bit differently. So there's a planner role, there's a program manager, and there's a viewer role. I'm in as the planner role, so John Chipley is one of our demo users. And I just wanna walk through the workspace in this video. That's gonna be enough, I think, content for here. So first and foremost, John has a view of all his business impact analysis by state. So what's in progress, submitted, complete, right? So this is what needs to be done in order to understand if something were to go wrong with the business process, what's the impact? Then there's his continuity plan. So this is stuff that he's working on developing plans for. We're gonna have a video diving deep in all the plans, but again, by state, in progress, submitted, published, expired. If you look on just above my head, I've got actions. So these workspaces are meant to be a place to centralize everything for a specific role. And in this case, we wanna give the business planner, business continuity planner, the quick actions to start a new business impact analysis, create a new plan, start an exercise, you know, we wanna practice and make sure before the real thing happens, and then also to report a crisis event. So that's this, you know, number one objective of these workspaces is to do that. Then he's got a list of all his exercises in their state. So all of his are actually work in progress at the moment. And again, exercises are just a rehearsal. We'll run through that in detail in another video. Now, what I want you to point, or what I want to point out to you all is look over here on the right hand side. So I'm actually gonna use my arrow. Notice I've got two scroll bars. So something that's misleading when people come into the business continuity workspace is they pretty much see this and think that's it. But what they need to do is scroll the second scroll bar. And when I do that, look at this. And now I've got a section on business impact analysis overview. So here's all my business processes by state. So whether they've been assessed or not, or whether there's a BIA in process, um, business impact analysis, BIA. Then we've got a couple of charts about what's overdue, what's in progress for business impact analysis, what are the results coming back for the impact analysis that have been done and grouping that by business units. Um, if I scroll up a little behind my head, I've got the action required. So we have a, a, a business impact analysis that's in review or pending approval, right? Someone needs to do something um, in order to process that. And then if I scroll my second scroll bar again down, now I have a section on just business continuity plans. So by departments, how many need a plan? How many have plans in progress? How many have a plan? Uh, plans by state, plans that are expired, right? So we can set expiration dates and there's approvals for all this stuff too. Um, the results, how many gaps are there for, in this case, it's showing the uh, recovery time objective gaps. And then again, kind of behind my head, the any actions that are required for business continuity plans. So we have the cloud data center recovery plan that's in review, okay? So this is the landing page for the dashboard. This is where you kind of get to all the different things you might need. And remember, like many workspaces, you can click on something and it'll take you to those particular records. And then I can move back and forth between the, that, that section and the dashboard or the landing page. Next thing up here, again, this is a workspace overview. I want to click on the three lines. This is like every other workspace, but it's going to be specific to business continuity management. So we have a list for business impact analysis, planning, exercises, and crisis events um, are our three main lists there. And the ones out of the box are just putting a different sub list for the state of all those different records. And we can come in here and you can modify the columns that you see or filter and stuff. And it's going to be sticky to the user who did those modifications, right? So it's user specific personalization. 
last thing in this workspace before we wrap the video is the crisis map all right so this is the pop bang whiz wow uh, for looking at alerts or events that may be coming in from different data feeds that could be weather data feeds it could be um, national or international crisis data feeds think about earthquakes fire flood hurricanes uh, cyclones um, anything that you might be able to create an alert for and then actually respond to. So we'll have a video that addresses how this whole crisis map works and how you can interact with it. I'll leave you to this one thought on the workspace. If you'll notice, this is not in the next experience UI. I'm in San Diego. This has not been migrated yet. Assumption is I'm not on the product team, but they've been migrating all the other workspaces over. So I assume this is either going to get a revamp or it's going to be migrated over as is with a few tweaks. If I know service now, that's probably going to be enhanced as they migrate it over to the next experience. Anyways, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you think might be interested. Until next time, don't forget to always be learning.